hi what's going on in this video you are going to be learning how to create design and publish your first low content book on amazon kdp and make one thousand to two thousand dollars per month kdp also known as kindle direct publishing has made it possible for anyone to self-publish different types of books on amazon and make money from them and in this video, we are going to be publishing what is known as a low-content book. A low-content book is a book with little to no text or images within the book. The interior of a low-content book are blank or nearly blank meant for the owner to fill it out. Now, here are some types or examples of a low-content book. First one is coloring books. It can be a sketchbook. It can be a receipt book. It can be a planner, it can be a diarist, it can be journals, or it can be notebooks, alright? Low content books are considered one of the simplest, quickest, and easiest types of books that you can create and publish on Amazon. They also have a large market and high demand, which makes them one of the best type of products to create as a beginner. And that's why I'll be showing you guys how you can be able to do all that in this video. This video is right for you even if you have never created a book or published anything on Amazon before. Even if you don't have an idea of what type of book you want to create, and even if you don't have any design background, you don't need to worry because I'm going to be taking you step by step process on how you can be able to discover the type of book that sells very well on Amazon and how you can be able to go ahead and create them free of charge. And this is why we are creating a low content book because with low content book, you don't need to be an expert in any certain topic or be familiar with low content books to create one. What you just need is just to take the time and watch this video and follow along step by step without skipping until your book is published and ready for sale. Now here is a breakdown of what we'll be covering in this video. The first one is making a plan for your book. The second one is designing your book interior and making sure that it has the required dimensions and sizes that Amazon requires so that it can be able to approve by Amazon. Now the third one is designing your book covers so that it can be able to capture people's attention and help you to make more sales from your books. Now the fourth one is going to be publishing your book on Amazon where I'm going to guide you step by step on how you can be able to do everything and ensure that your book is properly published and ready to start making money on Amazon. Now the fifth one is I'm going to guide you on how you can be able to get more sales from that book that you have created, alright? Because without making getting sales or having people buy the books there is no way you're going to make money all right that's why i'm going to be walking you step by step on how you can be able to do all that in this video and before we dive into the video if you are new to this channel my name is martin and i create videos on how you can be able to make money online i have created several step-by-step well-detailed videos just like this one that i'm doing right now that is going to guide you on any online business model that interests you from a to z so that you can be able to start making money from those online business models and if this is the kind of thing that you want to stay updated with consider subscribing to this channel so that you will become a part of this community and click that bell notification icon so that once i go ahead to share awesome videos just like this one youtube is going to notify you so that you will come and take advantage of the video i'm sharing right here and if you find this video valuable please do well to smash that like button so that this will motivate me more to keep on dropping this massive value for you guys for free now having said that let's jump into the video and i will walk you guys step by step on how how you can be able to create your own low content book and publish it on Amazon and start making money from your book. Now before we go ahead and start making plans for your book or designing your book interiors and covers, the first thing that we have to do is to pick the low content book that we want to create. As you have already seen right here, there are several low content books that we can pick from and go ahead and create and make money from Amazon. You can create coloring books, sketch books, receipt books or planners, diaries, journals or notebooks, alright? So the first thing that you have to do is to pick the low content book that you want to create now there are different there are some that doesn't contain any content at all such as notebooks or journals or diaries where you just design a blank sheet and upload whereas there are some that contains little content which can be a receipt book scoring books or planners all right now for this tutorial we are going to be going ahead to create a receipt books because i believe that it contains everything that you will need to be able to create any other form of low content books out there and to start creating our receipt books the first thing that we have to do is to go over to amazon and type 
receipt books. Now, once we made this search, we are going to see tons of receipt books that people have already created because we are doing this so that we can be able to get an idea of what is selling well on Amazon and be able to model off what people have already done so that we will ensure that the book that we are creating is something that people are already interested in. This is also what you have to do if you are going for journals or notebooks or coloring books. You have to go ahead and look at what other people have created. So what I have to do right now is to open some of these books that are right here that are selling very well so that we are going to see what the creators have already done and be able to model them and create our own books. All right, I've opened this one. Let me also find one more books that I'm going to open right here. All right, okay, let me open this one. So this is going to give us a better idea on what we are going to be creating right here, okay? So this first one, as you can see, they just have cover right here. And this is how the inner page is, where they have just a few content right here. And they duplicated this content so many times. Now, the second one right here, this is how the cover looks like. Now, this is the inner content. This was showing on the inner content, all right? So we we'll have a better idea on how we can be able to create our own book. So this third one I opened right here. All right, the back cover is always blank like this. And uh, this is what we are seeing right here on the inner sections. So as you can see, you can go ahead and open more books so that you can be able to get a better idea of what is happening right here. As you can, this person has received from the kitchen, prep time, cook time, serve, ingredients, and instructions, all right? Now, you can also go ahead and open more books right here to be able to do more research and find what people are doing. So you can have a better idea on how to go about creating your own books. Now, before we jump right here and start do, creating our own books, the first thing that we also have to do, you can also go to Pinterest, all right? Now, Pinterest is also a very good platform on finding book designs that you can also go ahead and create. Now, if I also go right here and put receipts book, All right, so we can also see tons of other receipt books that they are showing us right here. So you can also go right here and see what other people are doing so they can better create a book that people will be interested in buying. All right, so I'll find three receipt books idea I could go ahead and model off of to create my own books. Now, please do not copy any of these books right here or even the ones on Amazon. You have to make sure that your own is unique so that once we upload our books, Amazon is going to approve our books, all right? So I found this one right here. It has some letterings that I like right here, even this particular one and also this one. So what I have to do right now is to go ahead and sketch out how I want my own books to be, all right? So you can now take your time once you have been able to find the things that you need on the type of book you're trying to create, okay? Now you can go ahead to sketch it out on a sheet of paper so that it's going to be able to be easy for you when you want to go ahead and start creating those books, all right? So now that we have determined the low content book that we are going to be creating and we have seen some sample of those books both on Amazon and on Pinterest, the next thing that we have to do is to go ahead and determine the page count and book dimensions before we go ahead and start creating our books. Because if we make any mistake right here, that means that all the work that we are going to put in towards creating this book is going to be a waste because Amazon is going to reject our books. So I'm going to walk you guys through on how you can be able to determine the page count and the book dimension and also the cover type before you go ahead and start creating your books. Now there's a free tool we can use to determine the page count, book dimensions and cover type we we'll use to create our books. And I'm going to walk you guys through on how to use this too. Just go over to kdp.amazon.com slash cover calculator. All right. You are going to land on this page and this page is going to allow us to get the right sizes and dimensions and page count of our book so that Amazon will be able to approve our book once we go ahead to submit our books to them. All right. So right here, you can go ahead and enter the information of your books. The binding cover right here, you can select hardcover or paperback, but just know that if you select hardcover, it's going to cost more to print 
which means that the prices of your book is going to cost higher, all right? Making most people not to be interested in buying it. So we are going to go with paperback so that the cost will be way lower, all right? Now the interior type right here, you can select black and white, premium or standard. Black and white is just normal black and white book. Then premium color is if you have lots of colors on your book, you can use premium color. Then standard color if you just have few or little to no color on your book. So we are going to go with standard color. Then the paper type, white paper. Then the page turn direction, we are going to use left to right. Then the measurement unit right here, you can either use inches or millimeter depending on the sizes that you work with, all right? So I'm going to go ahead with millimeters right here. Then when it comes to interior trim sizes, this particular one is the sizes that Amazon used to print their books, all right? Now you can go ahead and choose any of these sizes that matches your book that you're trying to create. Or you can go ahead and select the custom trim size, all right? Now you can go ahead and add in your own trim width and trim height, which I already have mine, which is 210 and the trim height is 290, all right? Now once you have done that, the next thing that you have to go right here and add is the page count, all right? So if you are creating something that doesn't necessarily have a number of specific pages it must have, so you can go ahead right here and put it right here. So if you are creating something like receipt books that we are doing right here, you have to put in the number of page count that you want right here. But if you are creating something that have a specific page count, like yearly planner and all those kind of stuff, all right? So you know that this thing have a specific page count like 365 days or something like that, all right? So the page count that we are going to be using right here. So for this book, we are going to be creating a 150 pages book all right so that's what we're going to be creating right here so once you have been able to add in your whole book information right here you can go ahead and click on calculate dimensions so that amazon will give you the right dimensions on how your book is going to be as you can see right here we have seen our full cover right here so this is the size of our full cover and this is going to be the size of our front cover also know that this full cover contains both the back cover and the front cover right now this safe area right here is where our content is going to be in we are not going to exceed this safe area right here now this bleed that you're seeing right here on breed and margin is where amazon is actually going to cut the boot from so our content is not going to exceed that area so that amazon can properly cut the book and print it well and send it to the customers all right now the spine area the spine safe area and spine margin is this center area that you are seeing right here and this barcode margin is the barcode that amazon is also going to help us to input right here all right so as you can see right here once you are done with this thing you can go ahead and screenshot this particular stuff right here so that once you go ahead to start designing your book you will be able to know the right full cover front cover and this whole information offhand and not make any mistake all right so you can go ahead and leave this tab open or you can go ahead and screenshot this tab to continue with the next step and once you have done screenshotting this part the next step is to go ahead and start designing the interior of our books and also to design the book cover all right and the free tool that we are going to be using to design that is known as canva so to access canva simply go to canva.com or click the link in the description below and you are going to land on this page if you don't have a canva account you can go ahead and sign up by clicking the link in the description but if you already have a canva account just simply go ahead and log in because this is actually a powerful free tool we can use to start creating our amazon kdp books so once you land here just simply go ahead and click on create a design and we are going to be using a custom size design right here so once you click on custom size you can come right here and select what you are creating with so right now we are creating with mm all right if you are using inches you can go with inches but i'm gonna select mm right here because if you look over right here the measurement unit i'm using right here is millimeters all right so that's why i'm selecting millimeters right here now the width and height of my interior book that i'm gonna select right here is still the same this trim width and trim height so 210 290 all right that's why you need to have this thing offhand because it's gonna be very very essential so I'm going to put 210 right here and put in 290. And once you are done, simply go ahead and click on create new design. And if I click on create new design right now, now this is the interior of my books. All right. So this is how 
this is the size of the interior of my books that i can now go ahead and start creating my design right here now if you want to help yourself and design your book faster is advised to make sure that you already have what you are trying to design written out somewhere or sketched out somewhere when you are doing your research both on pinterest and on amazon on the type of books that you are trying to create all right so right now on my evernote i already have the content i want to have in inside my receipts book all right so i've already gone ahead and write out how i want them to be so when i move over to canva to start designing them everything is going to be very very easy for me and you can also go ahead and sketch it out just like i sketch it out with this image i'm showing you right now this is to enable me to, when i come here to know how i want my design to be so i will not come here and start brainstorming again but i already have everything i need to create to start creating so when you are doing your research right here on amazon and on pinterest make sure that you are jotting down the necessary things you want to have inside your amazon kdp books so that when it comes to the section where we're going to be designing with canva you are not going to be confused on how to get started all right so since i already have the design of my receipt book sketched out right here i'm going to be using this thing now to go ahead and design it on canva so if you see me looking down often just know that i'm trying to get the content that i have right here so i'm going to show you how you can be able to use most of the element here on canva and quickly design the interior of your book and also design the cover of your book and we'll go ahead and now publish our book all right so the first thing that i have right here is the receipt all right so the receipt name and please note like i said i'm gonna be creating everything step by step so that you can see how this whole stuff is done all right so once i'm done with the recipe the first thing the next thing right here is the prep time cook time and uh, the total time so i'm gonna go ahead right now and add this three stuff right here all right so we'll go over on canva ctrl v all right then i'll highlight all of them and change them to the new font i'm using and make sure that everything is aligned to the left so once i'm done go ahead and drag it to the left right here and change the fonts to something a bit smaller okay okay let me zoom in this thing so that we'll see what we are doing okay so once you're done with this we'll go ahead and add in our what's the next on the list ingredients direction meal okay on my sketch so you meal all right so i'm gonna be going with my sketch okay um so i'm gonna make the size a bit smaller 16 i think that's okay i'll drag it to the left all right so i'll also align all this stuff once we are done now the next thing is breakfast lunch so i'm gonna click here and go ahead and duplicate this so i'll duplicate it and drag it down here Okay, and I'll change it breakfast, lunch, dinner. And if you already know how to do well on design on Canva, you can skip through this video and get to the part that you interest you more. Okay, but if you want to learn how to use everything on Canva, make sure you watch and stick to this video okay so after meal the next thing is nutrition plan all right so i'm gonna go ahead and add i'll duplicate this duplicate i'll bring it right here so i'll change it to nutritional plan Okay, so I'll drag it to the left. Okay, then I'll also come right here. I'll also duplicate this one too. 
or drag it under nutrition and make sure everything is well aligned so I'll go ahead and add diary free vegan and this is why you need to you know create this thing from scratch do a sketch of what you're trying to design so that once you are designing it's very very easy for you to go through them gluten free okay so the next thing is okay the difficulty let's go ahead duplicate bring it down here difficulty Put it right here okay then, uh, okay copy it the difficulty section all right then I'm gonna go ahead this is easy normal hard so I will make this a bit smaller all right okay so once I'm done with this one the next thing is the rating I will duplicate again. Rating. Okay. Then the next one is the cookware and the utensils. Copy. Paste. Okay. Cookware and utensils. Okay. So the next thing is ingredients. I'll go copy paste okay okay ingredients all right then the next in directions and notes so i'll basically do the same thing right here duplicate duplicate all right drag both of them down okay these be directions I'll make sure to align it very well and I'll take down the remaining part which is gonna be notes okay close to waiting Notes. okay so we have this listed right here now the next thing is for us to go ahead and start adding the lines right here so yeah <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and add uh, okay. notes and I have to make sure it aligns. Okay, 
So these are the contents that I'm going to have on my recipe book. And the next thing I have to go right now to do is to go ahead and add lines and other elements that I need to include right here. So I have to go ahead and click on elements and go ahead and click on line and go right here and select the type of line that I want to add. So let me go with this one. All right. So drag it up here. okay so let me change the width right here from five to one okay let me make it dots all right so i'll go ahead and stretch it okay remember don't pass that line that you see over there so Okay, once the line is at the end of the page, I'll go ahead and duplicate it. Okay, and drag it to the prep time, make it short. Okay, all right. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this one also. here and uh, I'll duplicate again okay and remember I will also go ahead and rearrange all this whole stuff so that we'll make sure that everything aligns very well well let's first of all add the whole elements that we need to add right here so the meal breakfast so the elements we we'll have to use right here is square. All right. So we'll go right here and let me go with this one. Okay. Bring it up here, make it a little bit shorter. Oh, shorten it. All right. Then go ahead, duplicate it. Okay. Duplicate, duplicate. All right. So we have the. All right. We have our square right here so that they can tick the one, then this one, we'll go ahead and duplicate it again for nutritional plan. Okay, to be here, duplicates, bring it up here for veggies. Okay, duplicates, duplicates. Okay, so we have added this. Then the next thing is the difficulty. All right, so let's add circle right here. Graphics, square shape. Okay, let me look for circle. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and use this one. 
Okay, let me go ahead and change the color. So go right here and change the color to black so that we can see it. Um, bring it down, bring it down. Okay. Okay, make it a bit smaller. Duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate. Okay. Now the next thing is rating. Okay, rating. We're going to go ahead right here and get star for rating. Okay. We'll select this one right here. Change the color to black and bring it down. Okay. The duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. All right, for five star rating, possible. Okay, so once we are done, the next thing is to add line for cooking utensil. So we'll have to duplicate the main line and bring it down. Okay, uh, I'm going to bring it down. Okay. So I have to duplicate. I'll go ahead and duplicate, duplicate, duplicate so that it can be able to add. All right, let me zoom out a bit so that you see what we have created. Okay, so it's taking shape right now. All right, for ingredients, we'll go ahead and add in our line. We'll duplicate it again. So I'll bring this one down here. I have to shorten it a bit. Well, I'm gonna be adding two lines for ingredients so that there will be enough line to include the ingredients. Okay. Take that. Okay, the end of the page. Make sure they align. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Okay, same thing with this. Duplicate. We'll go ahead and duplicate, 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 and duplicate. All right. So we have our ingredients line. Then the next thing is for the direction. Okay, we we'll bring it down here. Minimize it a bit. Make it align. All right. So we'll go ahead and click on it and duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate. And the same thing I'm going to add on when it comes to notes. The same line. Okay, I'll go ahead and duplicate. Alright, so let's take a look at what we have created right here and let me zoom out a little bit 
and you can see the lines are actually not properly aligned right here and there are some changes that we need to do and i'll go ahead and make sure that all this stuff are fully aligned well so that's also the same thing you need to do and once you select them go over to position right here and click on tidy up all right so once you do that it's going to tidy up this line right here also do it for this one do it for all these lines so that they are going to be tidy up properly all right as you can see tidying up is tidying up very well right now position tidy up all right that's great okay now when it comes to this one select this section set position middle so that they are going to align very well with each other the same thing with this position middle so because if, if you do this one tidy up all of them will join together so middle then we'll set it to middle all right so we can go this one position okay it's already well tidy up all right so i will go ahead right now and make sure that this whole test everything is well aligned and you have seen how you can be able to do all this stuff so to make this line align very well i selected it went to spacing and change the line spacing to 1.6 um, the same thing with the mail i'm gonna change this letter spacing to 1.6 so that they will align very well okay the same thing with the nutritional plan change the letter spacing 1.6 okay so that's exactly what you have to do and make sure you take a good look at what you just created to make sure that everything aligns properly well and did not go over these lines so that so that it's going to get approved by amazon and once you're happy with your interior design right here you can even zoom it out more so that you can be able to see how everything looks all right so once you're happy with everything just simply go right here you are going to see a duplicate page right here and start duplicating this page and you are going to be able to duplicate it till you get to 100 because canva only allows you to duplicate up to 100 pages all right so i'm gonna speed this thing up and go ahead and duplicate and get to 100 and get to the 100 page all right now once i hit the 100 page the canva app is misbehaving so i think it doesn't allow us to go beyond beyond 100 all right so once you have hit your 100 pages right here after duplicating this whole page now what you need to do is to come right here where you see add heading and title your PDF all right so I'm gonna title this thing receipt book KDP all right so that when I save it on my system I can be able to know what I'm saving so once we have reached right here simply to download this stuff just go right here and click on share click on share now once you click on share you are going to see download right here okay so go ahead and click on the download link and once you click on the download link you are going to see the file type select this file type and come right here and click for pdf print all right so once you click on pdf print now you're going to select all pages which is the 100 pages and go ahead right now and click on download and your file is going to be downloaded to your system as you can see right here it's downloading right here to my system and if you look right here now our download is that's finished downloading right here okay so i will go ahead right now and open this so that you'll see what we created right here okay so this is our download i'll go ahead and double click it and right here this is what we created right here on canva and as you can see right here is 100 pages right here now we also need to complete these pages that we have right here to 300 page 
because if you go back to our calculation right now what we have right here is 150 page count and in one page count there are two pages okay so making it 300 pages that we need to have all right so all we'll have to do now because fiber is actually not going to allow us to get up to 300 pages right here so once we have gone ahead to download this particular first one now we have to go ahead and download two more making it 300 and i'm going to show you how you can be able to match the whole files together so all you have to do is to go right here since this one is receipt book kdp one kdp then what we we'll have to do this one is going to be two once we put this to we'll go ahead and download it again and we're going to do this so stuff three times then pdf print and go ahead and download this one again so once this one has downloaded right here we'll still go ahead and download another one so we're gonna give this one receive book kdp3 all right so we'll go ahead and do the same thing share download and uh, change the png to pdf print 100 pages and download now once we download this one now it's gonna make it 100, 100 pages into three that we have downloaded which is making it 300 pages i'm gonna walk you through on how you can go ahead and match these three pages so that we can be able to get the 300 page that we need all right so the third pdf is now downloaded and if i go over to my files right here you will see that we have receipt book kdp1 receipt book kbt3 and receipt book kdp2 so the three of them are right here so we'll now go ahead and go to match this file so what you have to do is to simply go over to google and search for match pdf files all right so once you search on match pdf files you are going to see this whole whole online tools that will help you to match your pdf files right here so we're going to go with this first one this small pdf files match pdf so we'll go and click on it and it's going to load right here and we'll go ahead and choose the files that we want to go ahead and match all right so i'll go ahead and click on choose file i will select the three files right here because they are the same thing and i will open them and go ahead and match them all right now this will take some time because the files are large all right so i'm gonna show you guys once it finished matching and how you can go ahead and download it all right so our pdf files are done uploading right here so you have to go ahead and select arrange and combine entire pdf files anywhere you like all right so once you select it you click on choose option and you are going to see the whole pdf files right here and come right here and click on match file if you want to add another file you can go ahead and add if you want to rearrange them you can go ahead and rearrange them but these are the same things i just want to match them together to get 300 pages so i'll go here and click on match file so it will continue to merge right here once it's done merging we will download it now once it's done merging if you take a look right here the page is now from 1 to 300 and not from 1 to 100 again and you can scroll down to make sure everything is all right but i know that everything is all right so i'll go ahead and download the merged files right now okay so if we open it up right here now you are going to see that what we have right here is now 1 to 300 pages and no longer 100 as we have right here from the first one okay so once you've done this you can see you can scroll down and see that all this whole stuff is intact they are still highly intact and even if you go to the 300 page right here it's still intact and you can zoom in for check for quality and you will see that everything is still high quality so we don't have any issues right now that I think everything is good all right so now that we have our interior and we also have our manuscript so we'll go ahead right now and create the cover page of this book and go ahead and upload it to amazon and to go ahead and start creating our cover design we're also going to use canva to create that all right but before you go ahead to start creating your cover design you can also go ahead to amazon and take a look at the books that you have already selected when you started your research to find design ideas for your cover all right so i'm gonna use right here and see what people are designing and the letters they are putting right here receives our uh, family receipt receives favorite receives and uh, so on receive 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 book 
and uh, I think the design is well, most of the best sellers right here just have simple elements around some kitchen elements around the my receipts all right so um the same thing with this one so you can go ahead and take a good look at all this stuff okay the same thing with this one my favorite receipts the same thing with this one all right the same thing with this one so as you can see right now so we're gonna go ahead right now and start doing our own creation so what we have to do right now is go ahead and click on create design and go ahead and click on custom size now we'll go ahead right now so we have to go ahead right now to amazon cover calculator and the full cover right here we have right here is 435.05 so we have to first of all change this to millimeters because that's what we are using right here millimeters all right so 435.54 i'm gonna copy it <clears throat> come right here and paste it go over right here and also copy the height which is 296.42 go right here and paste the height and remember to put it in millimeters if you are working in millimeters or inches if you are working in inches depending on the one you're working with and i'll go right here and click on create new design Now, as you can see right here, this is what our cover design is going to be. And please note that this comprises both the front and the back cover, all right? So that's what our front is going to look like. So this is actually what we're going to be designing on, all right? Now, let's say you also want to get more ideas. You can even get more ideas on five, on, on, on Canva right here. You can even get more ideas on Canva right here. All you simply have to do is to go right here and click on create design and search for book cover all right now once you search on book cover you can go ahead and select this first one right here and once canva open there is no need of taking a look at this particular stuff because we are not designing here this is where this is where we are designing all right the actual dimension that we get from here so but we just want to get an idea so once you're on book cover template we can search depending on the niche or what you are creating if you are creating journals you can type in journals here but once i'm since i'm creating a recipe book i will just type recipe book covers right here all right so once i type in recipe book covers right here i will now scroll down and see what people are creating now i will try as much as possible to make some of my covers to look like this stuff that i'm seeing right here like this particular one that i see right here okay so i'll try more so i'll try to take a look right here and see the one that looks a little bit like that particular one all right so you can just take your time and go through it and make sure you find i think this one looks like this okay let me look at it okay seafood all right let me continue going until i find the one that looks best okay this one okay yeah i think this one i think this one would do okay yeah i think this one would do okay so what i have to do right now is to first of all click on this thing and get the color so to get document color i'll just click right here and i'll come right here and click on these document colors and i'll copy it and i'll go over to my main design tap on it and i'm gonna give it this color right here all right so i'm gonna give it this color now once i've given it the color the next thing i'll go back right here okay so this whole stuff that is here so i will copy it come right here and paste it all right so okay okay so this particular one right here i cannot select each of these stuff and you know separate them 
so i'll go ahead and delete this stuff and find something better right here okay or instead of wasting time looking for those stuff i think i could come right here and search for and search for food icons oh i've already seen one so i'll select something like this So that's something like this. No. Okay. Okay. So just find things related to food and select them okay we'll still change the color so you can even go ahead and look for more icons so this is actually a simple way for you to get more icons now remember something when you are designing the front cover make sure you do not pass this line right here you can see a straight line because this is the back and this is the front all right so make sure you do not go past it all right these are supposed to be in the center of the cover all right so i think i'll look for one more and add it right here all right so the next thing is for us to add a test right here so let me go ahead and find a very nice test right here that's going to suit what we are doing okay I think this is good. I'll copy it. Come right here and paste it. All right. Okay. Bring it down. that's how canva is very easy to use just drag and drop and everything will be fixing on its own so i'll go ahead right now and change this one to what they normally use right here receipts our uh, family receives okay receives um let me find something right here that i can use for the title my favorite receipts okay yeah i think that will work my favorite receipts okay so let me look at what they have right here okay um do i need to add anything more right here all right so what i, th I think what we we'll have here is is already good all right so because if you check most of the design that they have right here is equally similar like all this stuff right here and it's even more beautiful than this one and this one is already selling very well right here okay so even if you don't know how to design very well you can do something simple as simple as this okay and it's gonna do very very well all right so what we we'll have right here what we we'll have to do is to go over right here and download our design that we have already created this is our cover design so i'll simply go right here and click on share and click on download and click on change this particular stuff to pdf print don't forget so as you can see as i tried downloading this thing it's showing me that i have six premium images and i have to pay before i could go ahead and download this stuff but since we are doing all this stuff for free i'm actually going to go ahead and change all this whole premium elements right here and use free ones to do this all right so i'll quickly go ahead and do that and go ahead and download it all right so i've already gone ahead and deleted the whole page icons that i used before and change it to these new free icons now you can easily go right here and search for any icon you want and get them as you can see what i searched to get these ones is cooking and i start seeing so many of these icons and you can use them as you want okay so make sure that you'll be able to use an icon that is not paid so that you can be able to download this whole stuff for free all right so i'll go ahead right now and download 
this whole stuff right now since our cover is ready so i'll go over to share and go to download and go to change this stuff to pdf print as you can see right now there is no there is no option coming up that we have to pay before we download this stuff all right so i'll go ahead and download our cover right here okay but i also forget one thing now you also need to name your cover up here so that you will know what you are downloading okay so let me re let me redownload this stuff now what i'm gonna do right here is to name this cover amazon kdp receive cover then i'm gonna go ahead and you know download it again okay pdf print and download okay so the cover is download right here so i'm gonna open it in the folder and view it all right so this is our cover right now now can i move forward to the last part which is uploading our book to amazon kdp and i will show you guys how you can be able to make more sales with this all right and also if you are finding this video helpful please do well to subscribe to this channel like this video and click that bell icon and also let me know in the comment section as we proceed through the video now once the cover of your book is ready and also the interior is ready the next thing that you need to do is to go to kdp.amazon.com and sign up to publish your book all right now signing up now signing up on kdp is very easy although it's kind of tricky because there are some things you need to add such as a foreign bank account and also and also completing the task form all right so if you don't know how to do that i'm going to link up a video up right here that is going to guide you on how you can be able to do that or just go over on youtube and search martin eo kdp and you are going to see a video that will show you how to properly create a kdp account all right now assuming that you already have your account or you just finished creating your account what you simply need to do is to simply go right here and sign into your account now once you're signing because this is actually a new account that you just created there is no book that will be listed right here but when you start creating multiple books using this strategy that i'm teaching you right here you will start seeing tons and tons of other books that are going to be listed right here right now let's use this account and upload this book that i just created right here so what you have to do is once you land on this account simply go ahead right here and click on create right now once you click on create you are going to see an option where you are going to are you publishing a kindle ebook a paperback or a hardcover now based on what we selected right here what we are publishing right here is a paperback all right so we we'll have to go back right here and select to create a paperback depending on what you are publishing so once we are right here now we're going to go ahead and put in the paperback details all right now the language is going to be english now the book title right here to get your book i could just simply come right here and see what other people are doing other successful authors are doing right here okay you see how they are putting up their own titles right here and make sure that amazon is like a search engine all right so whenever you're putting up something like this make sure that the niche or what your book is all about is also on your title as you can see right here this people are putting receipt book to write in your own receipts and they are putting so many receipt notebook receipt journal so many of these keywords that they know that people will be searching to find their books and that's why they are selling very well okay so you also have to do that now i've already created my own title following this strategy that i just shared with you now and here is the title that i created receipt book receipt notebook journal to write in your own receipt 210 times 290 millimeter brand receipt journal for gifts 150 pages so all this stuff is just keyword stuffing so that we can be able to rank up on amazon search engine because amazon is just like a simple search engine like google all right where people go to find products so i'll go ahead and add this as our book title right here now the subtitle is optional the series we are not creating any series right here the edition number is optional now when it comes to author name you can go ahead and include your own name right here or include your pen name but note that once you included a name right here you cannot be able to change it again so think very well before you decide on the name you want to choose right here so the pen name i will use right here is jack last name is gonna be hunter right or mac hunter jack hunter okay anyone so once you're done then the contributors no contributor i'm the only one 
um if there is another person that contributed to the book you can actually click add another and add the person right here then description i've also written the description right here so also do the same thing go right here and find out what other people have written in their description and the best way to also write your own description is to go to review section and read what people are what people that are giving this book five star reviews are writing right here so that you can be able to include that your own book have all those stuff all right because this shows you what the customers are interested in and that's how i was also able to draft this uh, description that you are seeing right here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and copy the description right here and go ahead and paste it and paste it inside here that description is required all right so you can go through it if there is any mistake you change it and as you can see this smiley face right here showing that my description is joyful or even friendly all right so so that's it about description you can also go ahead and add more description as you can see there is as you can see there is also 3432 characters that are still remaining right here okay but there is no need just once you put in what you need to put in right here you are ready to go now publishing rights i own the copyright and i hold necessary publishing rights here okay now when it comes to keywords this is one of the this is the second most important part after your topic okay after this title right here after this book title right here this your keyword section right here is another most important part forget this optional that they put right here it's very important because this is how people are going to find your book all right and to find the keywords that you're going to include right here do not brainstorm or try to guess anything all right now you can go ahead and use this tool that i have right here keyword2.io slash amazon this tool will allow you to be able to input the keyword for your book and it will go ahead and bring up multiple keywords that people are searching for in amazon so that you stand a better chance of ranking top all right so what you have to go right here now the keyword that we are working on right here is receive books all right so you can go ahead and put in your own keywords right here depending on what you are working on what your book is on now the country right here we have to choose united states because that's where we have the biggest market english and click on search all right so this will load and bring out some keywords for us to use and add there all right so it's bringing out some keywords for us right here receive book receive book to write in okay so they actually want us to subscribe before they can go ahead and reveal the search volume and trend but by the way we don't necessarily need that all we need is just to find relevant keywords that shows that people are searching right here and the things that are relevant to what we are creating and we'll go ahead and include it in our keywords right so this is the first one receive books so i'll just copy it and go over right here and add it right here go back again and check other ones blank receipt books yeah this is another one i'll copy it come right here and paste it so that's what i'm going to need to do right here receipt books brand receipt books healthy all right so simply go through right here and find things that are relevant book that you have written or what you have created and go ahead and include them all right so i'm done including the whole keywords right here that are relevant that i found there so what I have to do right here is to go down and choose the categories, all right? So click on categories right here. Is it a fiction book? No. What we are creating is a non-fiction book. Now we'll check out what is relevant right here, okay? So what we're doing is relevant to cooking, all right? Make sure you look very well so that you'll find the right categories to put your this stuff. So cooking receives, let's find receives, methods, cooking methods so look at methods general cooking frying raw cooking special okay uh, just try and you know look very well and know if you can find something that is very very similar to what you are creating all right so if i if i can't find anything right here um what I'm going to do, courses and dishes. Let me check here. No. Okay. I'm just going to select cooking and select general. All right. And after selecting the cooking general, depending on what you're creating, you can also come right here and select non classified right here. Okay. 
So we'll click on save. Now, for example, for some of you guys that will be doing like coloring books, you can also come and choose categories and you cannot actually see anything that is related to coloring books right here, okay? But I think we saw earlier something like craft something. So you can also go ahead and use something like that, all right? Just find something that is very, very similar to what you create and go ahead and include it right here. Now, once that is done, then come down right here. Does your book classify in any of this type? Uh, what we created is a low content book, all right? Not large print book. So we're gonna select that one. Now, when it comes to adult content, no, our book does not contain anything adult, all right? So we we'll simply have to go right here and click on save and continue. As you can see, save successful. Now we're gonna move in right here where we are gonna add in the paperback content. Now, when it comes right here, okay, um, it says choose the best option for your book, publish without ISBN or use your own ISBN. Now we don't have any ISBN and it said right here that low content books like notebooks and what we, like planners, journals and so on does not require an ISBN, all right? So we don't actually need it. Now, when it comes to publication date, you can go ahead and select any date you want, but I'm going to select today's date and come down right here. Then the print option, I'm going to select standard color interior with white paper, all right? Because this is what we selected when we are trying to create our book and the design and everything. As you can see right here, interior type is standard color and paper type is white paper, all right? So that's why I say you should screenshot this stuff and hold it handy because it's very, very important to whatever you're doing right here. So once you're done with this, you have to come down right here. Now the trim size right here. So our trim size is our trim size is 210 millimeter to 290 millimeter, right? But right here, there is no millimeter right here. And what we have is centimeter, all right? So what we have to include right here, instead of 210 width, it will now be 21 width. And instead of 290 height, is not going to be 29 height, all right? So if you do your conversion, this is what it's gonna give you in centimeter when you convert millimeter to centimeter. So once we've done that, we'll go ahead and click on select. Now, once you're done, then the bleed setting, our book doesn't have any bleed because I made sure that everything is well-centered. Everything is well-centered. Like if you take a look right here, everything is well-centered. There's no pictures or letters moving across, all right? Now, what we have here is mate or glossy. We are going to leave it as mate. Now, so once you are done with this particular stuff that you included, the next thing now is for you to go ahead and upload your manuscript, all right? So when it comes to upload manuscript, simply go right here and click on upload paperback manuscript and go ahead and upload the book that book interior that you have created, all right? So we'll go ahead right now and upload the book interior and wait for it to upload finish. So guys, this is probably taking a lot of time to load right here. I want to upload the manuscript and the cover, but it's been taking quite a long time to load. And this is almost the end of the video because once we are done uploading the manuscript and the book cover, we'll go ahead and, you know, preview our book and make sure there is no problem. And once we are done, we'll just save and continue and go to the next page and add pricing. And that's all we need to do, okay? Now, I've been waiting for this to load finish, but it keep on going like this, all right? So, um, maybe I'll also do another video showing you guys how you can be able to complete the whole uploading process. So, if you are having any issue with the uploading process, just do let me know in the comment section so that I can also go ahead and create that new video. But this is all you simply need to do and your book is going to be live, all right? So I believe you guys find value in this video. If you have any question, do let me know. And I hope you are able to successfully create your low content book and publish it on Amazon. All right. So if you find this video valuable, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video and click that bell icon. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video.